because it's the wild west and like we all know like how really rough it was and it's just kind of like to go back like on the whole ben way of like being a prisoner or whatever they treated him so nicely and respectfully whereas i don't really think that would be the case for a guy that's killed like hundreds of people and definitely not done like terrible things because you know they all know a bunch of people that he's probably killed yeah. being in the stagecoach business you know they probably got a lot of friends like family members that have been involved and like this guy has killed all of them like first off i would not be letting him talk no and like gag him yeah like gag yeah and like dude like you get rough with him like anytime you, you know they're just really nice to you gotta him. be rough with an outlaw you can't treat him like a friend yeah and like he yeah because like think about billy the kid or any of those other stories even butch casting the sundance kid they weren't gonna go capture them to hang them they were gonna go kill him yeah like that goal number one just kill these motherfuckers and we'll give you some money for it yeah i'm just thinking with ben wade's character like yeah you gag him and then when it's time to go to sleep dude go tie that dude up to a tree yeah. Who cares how comfortable he is? Yeah. You know, but no, like he gets to eat at the dinner table with him. All he has is handcuffs on the front. Like he could still, <laughs> yeah. Like, he's still very mobile. Yeah. Why not put it behind his back? He gets to sleep next to the fire. Yeah. They lay him up in the bridesmaids or bridal suite bed yeah. to chill out while everybody <laughs> else is like stressed out of their mind <laughs> looking out the windows. Because you could have killed him at any point if you wanted to and you had people begging like why don't we just put a bullet in his head now and yeah, be done with it I know that was another plot hole it's like why do they he's, he's de- done so he, many things that like this is like a problem at the end whenever he's following and maybe he's following him because he knows he can escape from the prison or the train because at the very end when the train rolls off he like whistles to his horse and his horse starts following the train so he's already plotting his escape like we know he's gonna escape oh right? wow I didn't even catch that yeah at the very end he like is on the train and he goes whistles up to his horse and his horse looks up and starts chasing after the train so he's already planting the scenes of how he's going to escape um yeah he's already been to this prison twice and escaped twice and escaped twice so and it's a hanging prison yeah like he goes there to die yeah let's just be done with it yeah you know but let's just get him to the nearest town like if you want to hang him go for it i mean you're the gang's still going to kill everybody yeah that's just I, i mean so if so okay sure he's doing it because he you know wants to help out the family and he's going with them but it's like even before that sometimes like why does he believe that they're going to shoot him why does ben wade think that they're going to shoot him because he's done things where he's like ran off he's like killed somebody he's done a bunch of shit on the road to yuma yet they haven't shot him yet i haven't winged him they haven't so, shot him in the leg yeah, or nothing what, what fear does he have of i wouldn't i'd be like i'm gonna run because guess what you're not gonna shoot me yeah, if you shoot me you ain't gonna get your money and i am and i'm not gonna go on the train so it's just like he has all the leverage he's like you guys need me alive so if I just run around, I'd be fine. Yeah, I could keep stabbing people in the neck. I can throw guys off of cliffs. I can get guns in my hand, apparently. Like, yeah. You didn't even check me for a knife when we left the house after you just watched me eat dinner. Right. These guys actually kind of suck at their jobs. <laughs> they really do. I mean... It's also like whenever there's like gunshots and shit, like, okay, gunshots ring out. You got to... The people that are trying to take you hostage if you're Ben Wade and you're watching these people like duck and shoot and they're they're not focused on you anymore because they're focused on not getting killed and having to take out the threat. So Ben Wade could just pick up and run away because like they're not going to shoot him down. Again, they're not. that They've proven that they're not going to do it. Yeah. So that's a bit of a plot hole there. It's like they could have maybe elaborated some way for the reason why they have to not kill him or like obviously they had to bring him there because they want their money to get him to the prison. But it's like if, if the whole reason is just justice to hey, kill yeah, him, hey, just kill government, him. yeah, throw me a fucking bone here. There's got to be a bounty on his head. Back in the day, there's bounty. The yeah. bounty hunter was there. Why not just fucking? I guess maybe more money to get him hanged. Yeah, more money alive than dead. But still, cut your losses, dude. Yeah, I mean, after he stabbed the dude, after he stabbed the guy, okay, we messed up. That won't happen again. Yeah, but I even told you at one point, just like you know, just stop talking to him. That's clearly, like, in the wrong. Like, just have two guys in the front that are leading expedition and then have Ben Wade in the middle and then have somebody behind him. Stop putting people beside him. Yes. Stop letting him get small talk. Put some fucking chains around his legs or something. Yeah, yes. Or chain him to the... Yeah, tie him to the horse. Tie him to yourself. Something. Yeah, I mean, just not not the best regulations with these guys. And it's just insane to me. I mean, especially after he killed um, the bounty hunter, after he throws him off the cliff. I mean, dude, like, I would have just been like, all right, let's be done with this. 
like if we're gonna keep letting him talk, I mean, we're clearly just letting this guy get the better up on us. Like he he's escaped twice from Yuma. How did that not ever get brought up? <laughs> I know. 